Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another video. In this update, we're we'll gonna be talking about the upcoming pattern with a big warm-up on the way as the ridge builds and some chilly temperatures for the northwest and wet conditions, as well as the tropics look to remain active. So before I do get started, if you do like weather-related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload about five videos a week to keep you updated. And I do ask you to share this video with your friends and family on social media. All right, so let's kind of delve into the details. What we're gonna start off with is the overall teleconnections of the NAO as well as the AO, which is the North Atlantic Oscillation as well as the Arctic Oscillation. Uh, you can kind of see here, it's been going to be predominantly above the neutral line staying with all the lot of a lot of the arctic air staying confined in the arctic region into canada and then you can kind of see in the, in the ao as well there is there is some subtle signs uh, by the end of the month going into december now these are all the models the gfs is hinting that it tries to go negative and bring some of that arctic air into the united states but you see it quickly deviates from that and retreats back uh, to the neutral line. So, and this is the overall setup for the next two weeks and kind of where we've been, we've been above average. This is the temperature so far for the month of November through the 15th and pretty much from the central part of the country all the way to the east from Florida to Maine, pretty much Texas, all above average. And then the only, uh, below average temperatures has been where it's been some uh, chilly and wet conditions in the Pacific Northwest, Northern California, and you start getting to the interior regions, it's been pretty much above average as that is, those cold fronts uh, tend to modify as they push east. Now let's kind of take a look at the overall setup uh, that's going to play out over the next maybe 10 days. Here's a, a developing ridge. This is uh, going to be on Wednesday for tomorrow. Uh, this is the 500 millibar pattern. So I was going to show you the 500 millibar, what's happening in the upper levels, as well as what's happening in the surface as far as the temperatures. And you can see we did we do have a, a mini cold shot that's that, uh, going into the northwest, northeast uh, tomorrow, bringing some cooler cooler temperatures for them for them probably uh, the coldest temperatures of the week, uh, 10 to 15 degrees uh, above average. And then we have a develop another trough that's gonna be diving into the Northwest, bringing uh, some more rain uh, to the Pacific Northwest into Washington uh, into Oregon. Now, what that looks like as far as temperatures, those uh, temperatures, or those anomalies are gonna be 10 to 15 degrees uh, below normal, but this will be your coldest temperatures of the week as the ridge uh, builds out west and this will move east as the week goes on by friday that ridge continues to build and it shifts uh, further east and this kind of just set the st sets the stage underneath so when you have a developing ridge over the top middle of november you will always look for uh, divergence underneath in the tropics and this may be one of the culprits that uh, uh, gets a kappa underway down in the caribbean they've already have it a 40 percent chance of developing and this may be the defining point to amplify that as we have a developing ridge and this will help lower the pressures even further underneath in the caribbean and possibly be as a name storm by uh, this weekend now as far as the temperature anomalies by friday this ridge really builds over the U.S., bringing those well above average temperatures of 10, uh, 15, if not 20 degrees above normal for a good chunk of the central uh, U.S. getting into the Ohio Valley. We can see uh, below average temperatures for this for the southeast, but that is just a, a, a that's not going to last long because this ridge is only going to continue uh, east as we get into the weekend. So now that ridge is gonna be defined by Saturday, the 21st, coming up on Saturday, that ridge is gonna be defined further east from the southeast, starting to build into the northeast again. And then we again look underneath and you start to see we have an old uh, old uh, frontal boundary just hanging out here in uh, the Caribbean the Baha Baha uh, by the ha Bahamas. And as this ridge uh, builds, again, this will cause 
lowering the pressures, divergence underneath, and we could see a developing low pressure trying to spin up in the, the Bahamas, uh, bringing some uh, rain showers and thunderstorms for that area as, as a new trough tries to build into the northwest. Now, as far as the temperatures on Saturday, we can see, again, that ridge really starting to build, amplify. They're probably the hottest part of the t part of the week. It'll be Friday and Saturday for much of the country as that ridge builds. But we do have some cooler air on the way. But all the colder air is pre predominantly going to be locked up into uh, the northwest where they've got chilly temperatures as trough after trough uh, comes in in northern California. But down uh, down in this area in the desert southwest and central and southern California, they're just kind of begging for rain as I just don't see much change in the, in the pattern anytime soon as the La Nina continues uh, to build. But yeah, by the end of the week, you can see that developing ridge really locks itself over the northeast and the ridge over troubled waters really defines itself then then we have uh, this continues to amplify divergence underneath lowering the pressures further and then we could try to see a possible another sped up of some tropical low or maybe subtropical feature down in the uh, uh, by cuba by uh, probably around uh, the bahamas bringing a lot of rain for that area it'll be undecided if this is able to form in a tropical storm or a subtropical feature but it will start bringing a lot of rain for this areas down in the bahamas beginning late weekend into early next week and as far as the temperatures we have that developing uh, trough that's going to be extending into the, the south this time it's going to make it all the way through so then that's going to bring some much needed rain to uh, parts of texas and this cold front will uh, bring a lot of rain showers as it extends further throughout next week to uh, uh, much of the ohio valley into kentucky into tennessee and much much of the southeast as this pushes through uh, by late into the weekend into early next week uh, but by Tuesday the ridge just builds back in and brings uh, start to uh, bring those above average temperatures starting to creep in uh, by a Tuesday but you can look at the overall temperatures by then they start to modify so uh, we probably get somewhat below average for those a, a day or two but then it modifies back the ridge starts to build back in bringing those above average temperatures again by next tuesday but this as that cold front moves through on sunday from from sunday night essentially through possibly monday into tuesday it's going to bring uh, a a lot of rain as you get those clashing temperatures from it's been so uh, so above normal uh, by then in the southeast in the Ohio Valley and then you have that cold front come in that's going to bring that clash of temperatures so you have some thunderstorms from uh, Texas to much of a Missouri to the Ohio Valley down in Kentucky to Tennessee to uh, Virginia and Ohio this whole area will be uh, you know amplified with multi-inch rains probably two to three inch rains uh, in this confined area over those couple days as that cold front uh, moves through Sunday night and through, say, Tuesday in this area. But by Turkey Day, this ridge, again, just builds back in and brings those above average temperatures as temperatures modify and they start to build again. Uh, so I do expect by, by the time uh, Thanksgiving Thursday rolls around, We'll have a, above average temperatures for much of the south and creeping back into the Ohio Valley, getting into the northeast. And then again, we try to see to the northwest that this pattern just basically continues to remain the same. Digging back in into the northwest after Thanksgiving, trying to bring some cooler air back into the United States. But again, it gets blocked and amplified by this uh, ridge that just doesn't seem to want to go anywhere as those above average temperatures uh, continue. But it's really not until as we get into maybe, you know, around December 1st, or those teleconnections kind of hinted at the, the uh, NAO going negative, we have a developing trough by then and we, we could have some sort of blocking try to set up up above with high latitude blocking. But it really might not even be until maybe the second week of December where I possibly see some true arctic air maybe trying to start creeping into the united states but that is 
just a long ways off. But as far as the precipitation goes over the next uh, two weeks, you can see with this ridging over the top, you, you know, last year we had a lot of cold air of the United States. Of course, we didn't have a La Nina, but we didn't have any, really any tropical development last year. We had Rebecca way out in the Azores and was no threat to land that formed uh, right around Halloween. And then we did have one in the middle of November, but again, it was way out into the uh, uh, the Azores Island, no threat to land whatsoever. So this year has been so above average because we've had so much warm air of the United States. Of course, we have La Nina, but the, the warm air has a lot to do with it too. And so as this continues uh, throughout possibly the second half of November, I do expect the tropics to remain active. So you can see a lot of the above average precipitation continues to be uh, in the Caribbean as the, the ridging over the top causes divergence underneath and it just amplifies uh, this area. So I do think the tropics continue to remain active for the second week in uh, the second half of November. And you can see where the cold front has come through and these cold shots this is the area from central Texas uh, uh, eastward. You're going to be picking up, you know, one to three inches of rain over the next, uh, you know, two weeks as these uh, cold front clashes with the, uh, the the temp the well above average temperatures. And then a lot of the a lot of the where the really wet weather is still confined to the the Pacific Northwest into Washington and to Oregon and just northern California. And it does creep into the interior regions. But once you start going into the central uh, California, especially Southern California, getting into, uh, uh, you know, Nevada and Arizona and New Mexico, this is the area that's just just desperate for rain. And unfortunately, I just really don't see much to change this pattern as the as the La Nina is just continuing uh, to build. And here's the snow for the next uh, two weeks. And obviously with really not much cold air around, this is predominantly in the higher levels and up in the mountains. Yes, you are gonna get some snow, but nothing too substantial uh, for this time of year. And a lot of this snow is gonna be confined into uh, uh, Canada and then getting into the uh, in interior portions of upstate uh, of, the, of the Northeast. So that's kind of what it looks like uh, for the next uh, you know week or two for uh, the overall pattern i appreciate you guys uh, watching uh, do like this video and uh, definitely leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch the next video where i protect you before and after the storm